Hey everybody, it's Joe with another print a block video and on this video I've got a problem. If you watched my light mech build video, you saw me do this thing where I, I used a pivot block here which has a little round edge which is designed to kind of bite into the, the stabilizer nibs on the square hole. So we got a round peg going into a square hole and the idea is that it will snap just inside of those and allow it to pivot around, but it doesn't it doesn't work. It doesn't snap in at all. Now, I should mention that this part was printed standing up, which means this is the side of the print and if I snap it into well, if I snap it into the bottom, it does work. If I snap it into the top for some reason, not as well. Or is that the top? Not quite sure. Top or bottom, it sometimes works. Sides, on this printer, it didn't work. Now, this is this was printed on an Ender 3, and it's super well calibrated. So I, I'm sure that it's not a calibration problem, but I think I've identified what the problem is. Let's jump to Blender so I can show you the design and what might be the problem. So here we are in Blender, and here's the base block. You can see it right there with the holes and the nibs. There's the nibs that it's supposed to hold on to. And here is the negative that we take those holes out of. And one thing that I want to point out in this design is that this nib right here, okay, that right there that it holds on to, is designed to be, this right here is designed to be 0.4 millimeters tall, right? Uh, 0.4 millimeters is about the minimum you could do in any 3D design, uh, for FFF 3D printing anyways, and it's kind of pushing it. But then I ran into a problem, because if we take this out of this view here and go to wireframe mode, you'll see that the, the block, the actual block here, subdivides that. So the part that's actually in the block is only 0.2 millimeters. Now, on the top and the bottom, that's not a big deal because 0.2 millimeters is, is generally our layer height, but when it's printing sideways, okay, let's grab my negative here so that we can look at this. Uh, when it's printing sideways, like this going up, that 0.2 millimeters right here that it's cutting off is too small of your, your, your nozzle width is 0 0.4, so chances are it's not making it all the way through here. So the fix for this, if this is the problem, is to move this over 0.2 that direction and move that over 0.2 that direction. That way it's a total of 0.8, but that ends up being 0.4, which theoretically it should be able to print that and get all the way to the corner of it theoretically. And so if I do this, I have to change all of these, this one and, and this one and the ones over here and the ones down here. I have to make them all bigger. Now that that's not a big deal. I can go through and do that. And, and the question was, would that fix it? So I, I made some more prints. This was printed on my JG Aurora A5. This was printed on my uh, Flash Forge Adventure 3. And what's funny is, okay, so I printed the hex block and the sides still don't work, but the top and the bottom do. And this is the new specification, 0.4, and I also had to make a new a new peg that sticks out just another 0.2 millimeters. Not much, but it's another layer. Works top and bottom well enough, but it, it didn't fix the sides. And if I do my Adventure 3, look at that it actually does work on the sides just fine and the top and the bottom that's a little bit tight but it does work okay so it kind of worked for this and it kind of didn't work for this and previous prints kind of work so maybe this didn't actually solve anything i still think thickening that would be a good thing to do but i'm not sure that it solved the problem and then I noticed something else. So looking back at the negative here, if I look straight at it, this right here, oops, this right here, 
This is the nib that we're talking about. And do you see this right here? Oh, it drives me crazy. As it's printing this 45 degree angle here, it can print this just fine, no problem. It can print that all day long. But then it goes, bam, just like that. It's a straight line. It can't, it overhangs. Now, sometimes 3D prints, when they have overhangs like that'll fail, you know, they'll, they'll droop just a little bit and fail and glob up, but then eventually they'll correct themselves. And so by the time they get here, they should correct themselves. But this one has the added problem that it's going away from it. So while it's trying to correct it, it's also trying to chase the problem. And unless your printer is awesome, with overhangs, it's never going to catch that. I don't know how I got this far in this design process. The Kickstarter is a day away from, from funded, funding complete. And, and I didn't notice this problem until now. Why didn't I see this before? There it is over there, too. Oh, it's fine here. It's fine here, and the tops don't matter. This is fine, this is fine. But that right there, that right there, as it's printing vertically, it goes that way, and then it just... No wonder it's failing there. No wonder it's not working. Oh. So what do I do here, guys? What's the answer? What's, what's the solution? Do I continue to try and, and work on this and continue to make prints and try and figure out what I can do to fix this. Is there anything that I can do to fix this? I already did make a note that this is a tricky print. And so you need to have a well calibrated printer and maybe I should just say that that's fine. But what about, what about thickening the nibs so that the whole vertical ones will print a little bit better on most 3D printers? Should I go ahead and make that change and throw off everybody's remix that has already happened? Or should I just accept that, you know, this works for most cases and maybe just not worry about it? Because it does work. The old version, it does work. But if your printer has a problem with that, this part just isn't going to function. But everything else functions fine. It's just this tiny little edge case that's a problem and it really is just a tiny little problem literally and functionally but it's a fun little block to be able to to pivot things around like that and so I kind of want it to work I could I could not worry about it I could leave it the way that it is and maybe put it out there that you guys could help me wow that white one's just blowing out the sensor but maybe put it out there that you guys can help me solve this problem. I mean, the greatest thing about 3D printing is that we are a community of problem solvers. And so either I, I have to postpone the release to fiddle with this some more, or I put it out the way that it is. It's mostly functional and you guys can help me figure out this little end edge case. What do you think guys? What do you think I should do? Go check out printerblock.com. Let's see where it's at right now. I look forward to talking to you. And if you are watching this on the day that it came out tomorrow, I will have a live stream for the closing of the Kickstarter in the morning. So I hope to see you there. But until then, what do you guys think I should do? <laughs> Thanks, guys. Safety first. I'll catch you later.